I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a little red schoolhouse. I come down to the bottom, I put one finger and I put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line from left to right. I come up to the center, right here in the middle, one finger, and I put another dot. From the dot, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out on the left, come back to the dot, straight diagonal out on the right. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a straight line down, come back to the right, we're going to draw another straight line down. Come back to the left, straight line across, and connect. Now see how I have that little space? I will live, I'll just put that little line down. Now I come over here on the left and I draw a straight diagonal down on the left. Come on the right, straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the left, straight line down, connect. Come on the right, straight line down, connect. I come back to the top and I put a little dot right here on top and I draw another straight diagonal down, little straight line in, connect. Come back to the dot, straight diagonal down, little straight line in, connect. Come down to the left over here, we're just going to draw a slightly straight diagonal out, little straight line in, connect on the left, little straight diagonal out, little straight line in, connect on the right. Okay, I come inside back here at the top and I'm going to draw a square. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And now I'm going to mimic those lines and draw them again. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come down here, kind of even with these little parts. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And now I'm going to come straight down to the bottom and I'm going to draw another rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line down, connect. Now I'm going to come up to the top and draw a little straight line on the left, jump over, little straight line on the right. Come back to the left, little straight line up on the left, <clears throat> little straight line up on the right, come back to the left, straight line across, connect. Inside my rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Down below, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And let's put a little baby circle inside. Okay. Now I come over here to the left and I'm going to draw square, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, and I'm going to mimic that line, draw it again, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, and inside I go two straight lines, one, two, then I do one, two little straight lines on the right, jump over, two little straight lines on the left. Come over to the right, we're going to do it again. Square, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Now we're going to mimic that line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come on the inside, two little straight lines, one, two, jump over, one, two. Okay. Now I come all the way back up to this rectangle and I'm going to write the word school. S C H O O L. And now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to draw a little tiny baby circle at the top. Curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right, 
connect the two with another curved line and put a little baby circle underneath. Okay. Now I come over to the upper part of the left and we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And then I'm going to start on the top over here and draw a big curve line over. Inside, another curve line up, little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left, dot, dot, inside. I come down here to the left and I draw a curve line up, over, up over, up, over, up, over, connect. Jump over to the right hand side and we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And we're going to hook another curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the right. Now I come down and over here on the, the uh, left I'm going to put a dot and I'm going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Down below, slightly curved line, slightly curved line. And inside I'm going to put some baby circles. I come over to the right hand side and I'm going to do it again. I put a dot and I go curve line, curve line, curve line. Everybody's is going to be different because we all draw differently. Slightly curved line one, two, baby circles inside. Okay. Now, let me check and make sure. I think we've got everything. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Whoops, I forgot a major part. Take, we're going to draw little straight lines all the way across the front of our drawing. I can't believe I forgot this. Well, I do believe it. It is the beginning of the school year. Not quite back up to par. So you're going to draw little straight lines all the way across. Now the reason why I just remembered this was because this is part of the lesson on how to color something that's got a lot of lines like this. So it was like, duh, you didn't draw the lines. Okay, so here are my lines all the way across. And you do this part too, this section also. Okay? And we'll talk about coloring right now. Okay, when I color, I try to color all the spaces that I need that color to be right off the bat. So my sun we know is going to be yellow. So I'm going to just color that in. Then my bell, which is very important for a schoolhouse to have, I'm going to color that yellow. And I'm going to color down here my doorknob yellow. So now my yellow is all done. Okay? Next, <clears throat> I'm going to color this section of my schoolhouse brown. And part of that is so that you come down and color this part brown. This is so I can see what I'm doing because otherwise it gets a little confusing. Now I'm also going to color all of the lines that mimic the squares around my opening. So I'm going to do my bell tower. I'm going to come down and I'm going to do my door. That's what this is, a door. This should all be brown. And I'm going to do my windows, the outside of the windows, and the little inside part too. Then I look at my picture and I go, hmm, time to do some tree trunks. So I'm going to do these brown and these brown. You're going to color this way better than me. All right. Next, I'm just going to take my green. I'm going to color around the baby circles in my trees because those baby circles are supposed to be apples but I'm doing green first and then this section down here at the bottom this should also be green and again you're going to color this in way better than me okay now I'm ready for my red all right first I'm going to color all my apples so these are all red these baby circles are all red. 
These baby circles on the left are all red. You'll keep in the lines. Now I got to color this whole schoolhouse. So instead of going up and down, up and down, I just take my red and I draw straight lines in between the black to fill in my schoolhouse. Now this shouldn't take as long and this shouldn't hurt your hand. And I, like I always say, if it hurts your hand, you're doing it way too hard. So you just take straight lines of red and go around your schoolhouse front. Then, once you've done it once, if you think, oh, there's too much white showing, you can come back in and do another straight line. Okay, and that kind of gives you a different texture look also. So that's my red. Then, as always, because I like to fill in my background with color, but I don't really like just doing solid color, I'm going to fill this in with a straight blue line to represent my sky. So this is all the way across. And as I always tell everybody, you know, if you can't do it all at one time, do it in two sessions. Take your time though, it looks great. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my little red schoolhouse all colored in. And this could be done for back to school activities, but also the Old West, because they that is where the one room schoolhouse originated. So you would have everybody in one room, all learning at different grade levels. Okay, bye-bye.